What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Aeon, back at it again with another video. Today it's going to be APAP 16, slow and a very fast team. I did Kronos, I think the last month, so obviously I had to do APAP and Fafnir. I was a little bit lazy, but I finally decided to do it. Here is the slow team. As you can see, these are the relics or gear as you want to call it. And to be completely honest, I don't think they are anything special, especially this Sally. Look at this girl. She like she <laughs> this this gear is not even skilled up because she has a very important role in the speed team. Just as you can see that you really don't need her with a lot of stats. Uh, Stewart and Sander, they have quick equip relics. And Jinyu Yao, she is at R6. Her R6 doesn't make any difference in APAP. I mean, it kind of does, but you know, this team is super safe. I will show you, obviously, some results and some timers. I got much better results with the quick equip, actually, and the Sally. I got better results than before. Before, I was getting around 2 minutes, 2.10, 2 20 with a more a slow, a little bit more sustaining team, but you won't have any problems with this team. I will show you some runs, and then we will go to the best one, which is the speed run. See you soon. So here we are and we, I'm going to show you this speed team and I'm so surprised that it actually worked so damn well. We have Sander on a more burst damage build. Uh, the more accuracy the better, it makes some difference but sometimes it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. But it will help you out against the boss but you really want a lot of crit damage, a lot of attack. You don't want a lot of speed and you will see why on some runs. Here is Jozer, the same relics as before. <laughs> Sally, also on the same roles, relics as before. And uh, I, on this slow team, I just wanted to see if it actually would work. And if you give her a little bit more fast um, gear, uh, that team becomes invincible because she will cycle so fast that the boss will never have enough damage to kill you. And then Stuart has a better Thunder set because he skills better with crit damage. So the higher the crit damage on him, the more maximum HP he will deal. And then we have Drew, which is a very important part on the combo. Now, as you can see, the speeds, this has to be the, um, the order. So the attack buffer moves last. And... Uh, yeah, first you will ask yourself where's the attack buffer, and the attack buffer is actually um, Sally, and I'll just show you, but I'm not gonna say much, I'm just going to explain to you a little bit how this works, and then I'll show you a couple of runs with some records, so we can finally end the video. So, the game starts with Atum, or Jozer, going for his third skill, and then um, our boy here, Drew, uh, snipes everyone else, and then they have to go for their combo, and the important part here is this right here. This mob, he can't die. Why? Because since Sally, she's going to move, she will wake up um, Stuart and Stuart will have his combo available on the subsequent wave. He went for the first skill, but it doesn't really matter because we want them to have their combo when the attack buff is ready. See, as you can see, a lot of damage, more than 30k, 30% of the boss's HP. And since for some reason, 
Stewart is on the middle now, but before when I was trying him out, he was not countering the boss when the boss woke him up. But uh, something <laughs> is right, <laughs> and now he's constantly countering the boss. So as you can see, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's 44 seconds, 22 turns. I did this maybe five or six times. I will show you uh, on the subsequent uh, parts. Well, let's do one more try just to see if I'm actually just uh, doing this for the video or if the team actually works. As you can see, Joser goes first. Then Drew has to go right after. Him landing the defense break here doesn't matter because Stewart will always kill and they always have to go for this. It's much better now that they fix the AI that Infernos always goes for the wind and the wind target is the middle one. So this will happen most of the time if you have similar stats or if you manage to make it deal uh, the same uh, damage. The only thing that really needs to happen is that mob, he can't die. Otherwise, the order gets all messed up and you won't be able to win. Why Sally is so slow because of that? Because she will use her third skill on the wave, wake up Stuart, and then she will have her third to cleanse the poison and give attack buff to everyone else. Guys, this is another proof that you can clear every state of the game without any pay to win units every single one of these units are free to play and i will show you some more runs but i will see you guys on the next video take care mm -hmm.